Hi guys, it's Alyssa, and I'm back. So today's reading is going to be something fun, um, something kind of lighthearted, hopefully. Okay, um, this is who is coming towards me next, or um, who is my next partner going to be. Okay, so um, with this reading, we are going to find out a little bit about who this person is. Do you know them already? Do you not know them already? Um, what kind of personality do they have? Maybe a little bit of what they look like. Um, and whatever else the cards want to tell us about them. Okay, so we're going to have five options today. The first option is... Uh, this violet crayon, the second one is red, third one is yellow, four is brown, and five is olive green. Okay, so those are your choices, and while you are deciding which one to choose, I just want to say um, thank you so much for all the support, you guys. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate everybody who has purchased a reading and everybody who has donated to the channel. It's so amazing, like, how much love I have gotten in the month that I've been on YouTube. It's, it's so sickening. As of this morning, I have a little over 1,500 subscribers, which is amazing. So I am filming this Christmas Eve morning. I'm going to try to get this video up before the end of the day. So I hope that you guys have a great holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you're into. I hope it's a good day for everyone. And I will see you all after Christmas. I'm going to be uploading basically like a 2019 prediction kind of thing before New Year's. So that'll probably be my next video after this one. So be on the lookout for that. Oh, just a reminder, of course, all of my readings are, or well, all of these readings on this channel are um, general, and they are overall for entertainment, okay? It's literally a card game that we use for divination purposes, but no form of divination is 100% correct 100% of the time so you got to take everything with a grain of salt and um, above all else this is just this is just for fun okay so I mean don't get don't get real hung up on it so yeah if the readings don't resonate with you then the message wasn't for you um, and that's that's that on that so okay I think I've rambled on for long enough hopefully you have made your decision if you haven't you can pause um, cause we're gonna go ahead and get started with the violet crayon. Okay, you guys, for those of you who chose the, um, violet crayon group one, who is coming towards you? Who will your next partner be? Let's see what we can find out about this person. So. Right away, I feel like this is somebody who um, is very possibly quite well-traveled. Okay, we have the Three of Wands. This is somebody who um, likes to be prepared. They like to plan ahead. We also have Work Through Your Fears, New Moon and Scorpio. So I feel like this is somebody who is not afraid to, you know... Take any kind of leap, you know, I feel like they really enjoy trying new things, going to new places. Um, we also have the Nine of Cups down here, so I feel like this is somebody who is very social. I feel like they really enjoy going out and spending time with friends. Um, they might like to have a drink now and then. I don't feel like they're a partier per se, but... They are a very social person, like a kind of a social butterfly, I feel like. Um, they just love spending time with friends and going out and, you know, out to eat and hanging out in bars and that kind of thing. 
they like to explore. I feel like they like to explore. Um, this would be the kind of person who would be down with, like, going on an adventure. You know what I mean? Somebody who can make an adventure out of anything, like going to the grocery store can be an adventure for them. Exploring a, a different part of town and finding a new place to eat would could be an adventure f with them. Um, for the Ten of Wands here, we have... Uh, this is their past experiences in relationships. Um, so I feel like this person has been with people in the past who probably weren't the best for them. Like, I'm, I'm just feeling like they've had some kind of unhealthy prior relationships. Um, maybe kind of toxic, just, you know, relationships with people that just did them more harm than good. I don't feel like it was anything straight up abusive or anything like that, but, you know, emotionally draining. Um, yeah, we, the Eight of Cups fell out, so um, they have learned um, when to, how to recognize when something, when a relationship is not serving them, and they've learned how to walk away from those things, even when it's really painful for them, you know. Um, but as a result of their past experiences, they are, I feel like this is someone who's, who's very wise, um, this could be somebody who's very, like, who knows a lot about psychology, okay? Um, this is someone who is, who enjoys stability and order. Um, and they're just, they're very good at releasing things that do not serve them anymore. So, um, I feel like this is something that they could teach you, you know, when you come together. Um, yeah, we also have the let go card over here. So, this is somebody who is, I feel like, well practiced in the art of letting go because they've had a lot of things in their life that they've been forced to let go of. Um, they've been forced to surrender and allow the universe to take the reins in various situations and so they're pretty good at that now so this is somebody who is not going to put up with very much bullshit I don't think um, but this is a pretty I feel like they are a pretty romantic person we have the page of cups here um, and I feel, I feel like they're very generous, very giving, very loving. Um, I feel like this is somebody who would text you just to see, like, just to check up on you and be like, hey, um, have you eaten today? Have you been drinking enough water? That kind of thing, you know, just very, um, very caring, very, very uh, invested in your well-being. Okay, um, we have the wedding card right in the middle here, so I feel like, um, you guys might end up marrying this person, um, and I feel like this is someone who is, um, like physically, um, kind of tall, kind of thin, I'm, I'm seeing like someone who's kind of like wiry, you know, they're in their build, lanky um i feel like f for a lot of you guys this is somebody who probably wears glasses <laughs> um and i'm seeing like button down shirts okay i feel like dark hair um and yeah like i said thin kind of lanky you know long limbs and glasses i feel like glasses for a lot of you guys Hmm. We also have the children card over here. So this could be somebody who already has children, or you could end up having children with this person. Um, or I also feel like this is somebody who is just very playful, like they're very in touch with their own inner child. You know what I mean? Um...
we have the hope card here and this kind of goes back to what I was talking about with this three of wands and and uh, new moon and Scorpio card this person there is really um, very much a planner okay um, I feel like they probably I feel like this person might work in like finance they could be like an accountant or something like that I'm just feeling like something corporate or like some kind of manager position um, but but they're very like I said they're definitely a planner and um, they put a lot of thought into uh, what they want in the future and how to achieve the things that they want and they are very they're not somebody who's gonna let fear hold them back okay like I said earlier they are very much um, the kind of person who's going to be willing to take a leap of faith and you know put their all into something even if the outcome is uncertain now we also have the ten of swords here so I feel like this is you guys I feel like when you meet this person you're going to be um, in the process of recovering from something pretty tough in your life it could be a breakup um, it could be I want to say loss of a family member or friend that doesn't necessarily mean that anybody's gonna die it could just be that you might have a falling out with somebody that you love um, but whatever the case I feel like when the two of you meet you're going to be um, in the process of recovering from something um, kind of heartbreaking that's happened um, we also have the Union card here so again I feel like a lot of you are probably gonna end up marrying this person um, or if not you're gonna at least be in a very very solid committed relationship that I feel like is going to last for quite some time a number of years anyway um, and then we have the yes card so this tells me that uh, yes this when you I feel like when you meet this person you're going to know that the two of you are going to end up together like I feel like you're just gonna know intuitively um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever had this experience before but sometimes you meet somebody and you're like oh I'm gonna marry that person someday and you just know and it could be it, it might not happen for another 10 or 20 years down the road but you know <laughs> you know someday you just know it's gonna happen um, I want to see if we can't get a uh, more specific like time frame for when this person might come in to your life I feel like most of you guys don't know this person yet this will be someone new whoa get more information be assertive there's something better a year from now and yes again okay so for a lot of you guys this person will come into your life um, within the next year okay I want to say like for some of you it'll be like eight months from the time you're watching this for some it'll be a full year for some it'll be less than that but you know within within a year um, this is just a little bit of encouragement for you guys this is um, like I said I feel like a lot of you are going to be going through some tough times when you meet this person so this is just a reminder that um, things will improve for you there are better things out there for you you know for those of you who um, are gonna are gonna be going through a breakup or something um, or you could be going through that right now and um, 
by the time this person comes around, you will be pretty much healed from that, okay? So this is just a reminder that there are better things out there for you, okay? Again, yes, this person is coming towards you, so you don't, don't give up. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys might meet this person on social media, okay? Like a dating app or something. Um, that's what this card is telling me. We also have Be Assertive. So, um, I feel like... Hmm. This is going to be a relationship that is very equal. It's, it's very like, like the power dynamics will be very equal. The two of you will be on very even footing. Um, so I feel like the two of you will kind of challenge each other in a lot of ways. Um, I feel like this person has a pretty big personality and I feel like a lot of you guys who chose this option probably also have pretty big personalities. So I, I do feel like there could be some headbutting in this relationship. But, I mean, I don't feel like... I definitely don't feel like it's going to be detrimental in any way. Um, I just think that, like I said, you guys will challenge each other in a, in a lot of ways. And um, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? I want to get... Uh, one more card from here, I think. Whoa. Unrequited love. Huh. Free yourself. Release your ex. Okay. This is a message for you guys right now. Some of you are dealing with somebody who does not have the same feelings for you that you have for them or who d no longer has feelings for you, um, or you don't have feelings for them like you used to, and you're kind of trapped in a relationship that's not serving you. So this is just saying that um, you need to start releasing yourself from the person that you're dealing with now um, so that this new person can come into your life. Uh, about about a year from now but this is saying that you need to start releasing uh, your your current partner's energy or your current love interest energy in order for that to happen okay you guys so that was group one the violet crayon um, I hope you enjoyed this reading if it resonated with you please feel free to let me know I love to read you guys' comments um, and, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group two. Hi, you guys. If you chose um, the second group, the red crayon, who is coming towards you? Who's your next partner going to be? Let's find out. Okay, so right away, I think that a lot of you guys already know this person. You have already had dealings with this person. Um, you may have made an offer to them in the past that they rejected, or you rejected an offer from them. Um, we have the reconciliation card down here also. So um, I definitely feel like this is somebody that a lot of you maybe... Um, I don't think you've necessarily actually been in a relationship with this person. Like, I don't feel like this is an ex, but I do feel like, for, uh, for most of you, this is somebody that you have maybe dated or had a crush on in the past. Um, this is somebody who is very um, in tune with their emotions, I think. Um, I feel like this is someone who is very insightful, who's very spiritual. We also have the wisdom card down here. So I get the impression that this person is kind of an old soul, okay? Um, as far as their past experiences in relationships go, I think that they've been hurt quite a lot. Um, but 
they've they've healed from that and they have moved forward we've got six of swords here so they have moved on from their past hurts okay they are i don't think this is somebody who is going to be hung up in any way on uh an ex um if this is somebody that you have rejected in the past they are so beyond that like they don't care about that in any way um they've moved all the way on okay um from from i mean from like the rejection obviously i feel like they're still interested in you but they're not they're not hurt by whatever's gone on between you in the past okay um this could be a cancer we've got full moon in cancer um this is a, a personal issue reaches a resolution so if you guys have had issues in the past i feel like that is they are staying in the past um i want to read the description for this card out of the book really quickly full moon in cancer like i said this is somebody who's very emotional very in tune with their emotions um someone who's sensitive to other people's needs and i also feel like someone who's pretty family oriented um and i want to talk a little bit more about this sensitivity to others i feel like excuse me my cat just got up here um i feel like this is somebody who works um either in the medical field or um psychiatry or something like that we have this gentleness card um so like i feel like this is some, oh and also helpful people so i definitely feel like this person is either like a nurse or a counselor or a a therapist or just somebody who helps people um as a career and also healing family issues so again i i there's a lot of cards here that make me feel like this is someone who is a counselor or a therapist or something of that nature um but also like i said they could be in the medical field we have um have faith in your dreams here so if you have been hoping for a reconciliation with this person um the cards are saying that that is coming because we also have um the new moon card a new start is coming so definitely um i would say that this is this has a lot of potential um and we have in the near future so i feel like this person is going to come towards you quite soon um i would say within a month or so okay and again like i've already said i feel like a lot of you already know this person so um as far as like physical appearance i feel like this person has long hair like male or female this person has pretty long hair um i'm i'm also seeing like curls like curly hair um textured um kind of thick kind of coarse okay probably dark but not necessarily dark hair um i'm also seeing like strong arms with like really dark hair on them <laughs> i know that's very specific and that's not going to apply for everybody but that is what i'm seeing um i feel like they do have they probably have some tattoos but not not a lot like they're not covered um i would say they have maybe a handful of tattoos um and probably most of them are in places that are easily covered so you might not know that they have them uh let's see i'm definitely seeing i keep seeing like a very sterile like clinical kind of environment so 
I really feel like this is a nurse or a therapist or um, somebody who works in psychiatry or medicine or something like that. No, I think that's it. I think that's... Oh, I also want to say, um, I, I said I feel like this could be a Cancer. I think this could also just be any water sign, so Scorpio or Pisces as well. This is also um, a Pisces card, I believe. So, I feel like there's a very strong possibility that this person is a water sign, but it do they don't have to be a water sign. Um, this is just somebody who's very emotional, who's very um, in touch with their emotions, okay? So, yeah, group two, I think that's all I have for you. Um, this was a pretty straightforward uh, little reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if it resonated with you, I would love to hear from you, okay? Leave me a comment. Um, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group three, okay? Hi guys, if you chose option number three, the yellow crayon, this is your reading. Who is coming towards you? Who is your next partner going to be? Let's find out. Okay, um, so right away, I feel like for most of you, this is somebody that you have not met yet. Okay, um, but I feel like you're going to meet them in the near future. So this card for me is, it means like a month from the time that you are watching this, okay? Um, um, this person, I feel like, is very much a thinker rather than a doer. I feel like they're very observant. They're very intelligent. Um, they spend a lot of time in deep thought. Um, I feel like this is somebody who is really, who really enjoys, like, philosophical discussions, um, they could really be into science. As far as their past relationships go, we have the Tower card. So this is their past experiences in relationships. So um, I feel like this person has... I feel like this person has kind of self-destructed um, some of their prior relationships in some way. Like... I, I get this overall feeling. We have pay attention to the red flags here. I get this overall feeling that this person could be um, uh, kind of self-destructive in some ways. So that's just something to think about. Um, I feel like this is somebody who can have quite a bit of a temper, who can be kind of volatile, okay? Um, and I feel like sometimes, or at least in the past, w when they feel wronged or they feel like things aren't working out, they just kind of, they just kind of blew up and whatever the situation was, they just kind of detonated the whole thing. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I feel like they... They brought a tower moment upon some of their previous relationships and just obliterated them, you know, ended it right there. No, you know, no further contact with that person, like, ever. Um, I feel like this is somebody who has no problems um, cutting ties with people that uh, aren't serving them, that they are, <laughs> when they're angry with somebody... You know, they have no problem moving on, moving away from the situation. Um, we also have Knight of, uh, Knight of Cups. So I feel like this is somebody who, when you meet them, is going to really, like, sweep you off your feet, okay? Um, we also have Two of Pentacles and Temperance. So I feel like um, this person is, if this person is um, kind of, very, like, highly emotional. Um, we've got the super moon card. Emotions are running high. So I feel like, like I said, this person can be kind of volatile. They can be prone to, like, mood swings, maybe. Um, if that is the case, then I feel like you are kind of the complete opposite. 
okay? And I feel like I feel like you are more calm and more uh what what word am I looking for? You're just a bit more subdued. You have a, a more laid back personality and the two of you will really balance each other out, okay? Um we also have this Pisces card, Full Moon in Pisces, Balance, Spirituality, and Practicality. So I feel like, again, this person is very highly emotional. Um, again, I'm feeling like they could be a water sign, but they could also be a fire sign. Um, but, I mean, the sign, it doesn't really matter, you know. We also have communication is key, new moon in Gemini, so there's also air uh, vibes here. So, like I said, they could be literally any sign. Um, but I feel like this person is a pretty good communicator, okay? They are not going to be shy about letting you know how they feel. Um, they are not going to be shy about speaking their mind, speaking up for themselves, okay? Um, this is someone who is going to be very attractive to you um, I feel like it's gonna be almost like love at first sight because when you see them you're just gonna be you're gonna be totally sprung like that's the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life <laughs> um, but we also have this card which suggests to me that they could be somebody who is not like your usual type you know they might not be the the type of person that you would normally go for um, let's see, what else? I get the feeling that this person could, whatever they do um, if, as a career, could involve a lot of travel, or they could just really enjoy traveling. Um, I also get the feeling that they might work with animals in some capacity, okay? Um... I also feel like this person can be very dreamy. Like I said, that they're a thinker more than a doer, I feel like. Um, so I feel like they spend a lot of time like with their head up in the clouds. And um, they really could use somebody to keep them grounded, you know, to keep their feet on the ground. Um, kind of bring them back down to earth every so often. Um... But even though, like I said, even though they are more of a thinker than a doer, they're still they're still prone to like real big bursts of emotion. So like like I said, I feel like this could be somebody who has mood swings. I feel like this could be somebody who might struggle with some kind of mental illness. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, and I do feel like the two of you are not going to have uh, an especially easy relationship. We have compromise and we have bring love into the situation. So I feel like this your relationship with this person will require a lot of compromise. And it will require both of you to approach every situation from a place of just love like unconditional love like I feel like the two of you will love each other a lot and it will be basically like like unconditional and so that's going to have to be at the foundation of everything that the two of you have in order for the relationship to work in the long term which I feel like it totally can um, but yeah it's not gonna be super easy but then again, I mean, nothing worth doing is ever really easy. So that's just that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and we also have you're ready. So this is kind of going along with this card in the near future. Um, you, I feel like, are ready for this person. You are ready for the challenge that they will bring to you. Um, you are ready to give love okay and they're coming they're coming towards you pretty fast I think all right they're gonna tower tower moment your your life not in a bad way <laughs> okay 
but they're, they're going to shake stuff up for you. All right, you guys, so that was group three, um, and that's your reading. That is who's coming towards you. So I hope you enjoyed, you guys. Um, if this reading resonated with you, please let me know. I love to hear from you guys, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I see you next time, and we're going to move on now to group number four. All right, you guys, if you chose option four, the brown crayon, who's coming towards you? Who's your next partner going to be? Um, as you can probably see, um, you guys had a ton of cards that wanted to come out. So there is a lot of energy here, and I feel like the vast majority of you who chose this pile um, already know who this person is and you have already dealt with this person. You have had some conflicts with this person. You've kind of been through it with this person. <sighs> okay, and there's there's a very deep connection between you. Okay, um, so we have the Six of Cups here, so I definitely feel like yeah, this is somebody from your past, um, and it could even be a soul connection. I say that because, let's see, we have this card down here, Meditate and Contemplate, New Moon and Pisces. Um, this makes me feel like some of you guys have, I feel like a lot of you who chose this option are pretty spiritual people. I feel like you probably meditate a lot, and I feel like if that's the case, then you probably see this person when you're meditating, or you've had dreams about this person, and your intuition has been telling you that this is the person for you. I feel like a lot of you guys are operating on a very high frequency, uh, vibrational frequency. You're attracting a lot of abundance right now. Um... And I think that you have had to wait on this person. This is somebody that you've been kind of waiting on. And you've maybe been starting to think that nothing is going to happen. Maybe you've started to think that um, you should move away. You know, give up hope on this person and look for something else. Um, but I think that it's very likely that um, this relationship with the two of you will evolve into something very successful, okay? Um, the universe is saying, yes, this is, um, this is your person, like, or, or one of your people, okay? I really feel like there is a soul connection here. We also have romance, and we have big, happy changes. So whatever's going on between you and this person right now is going to change for the better. So... I mean, don't, I feel like you don't really have anything to worry about. I feel like uh, it's just a matter of, where did that card go? It's just a matter of waiting. And I want to tell you that I tried to get a time frame, like a timing idea um, for when this person is going to start coming towards you. And, and none of my decks wanted to give me an answer. Um, I actually pulled a card out of here and got the moon, so I feel like you guys are not meant to know when this person's going to come towards you. I feel like this is supposed to be an exercise in um, surrender for you guys, <laughs> okay, surrendering to divine timing. Um, that is a theme in a lot of my readings, I think. Um, I feel like that is a lesson that a lot of us are meant to be learning. I know that's something that I'm meant to be learning. So, you know. All right. So, I've already talked about this card. This is something you already know. Um, as far as this person's previous um, experiences in relationships, I think that this is someone who possibly uh, has been cheated on in the past. We've got three of pentacles and three of wands. I feel like this is somebody who has had some really serious relationships. We also have two of wands and the magician. Um, someone who's had some really serious relationships where they were really planning for the future. They might have been planning to get married and start a family, but then their partner maybe, um, you know, had an affair and things kind of came crashing down. Um, let's see. 
I, I feel like this Four of Cups is kind of like the past energy between you and this person. Um, somebody has been really um, taking their sweet time in making a decision. Somebody has been kind of rejecting offers. Um, but I see that changing because we have the Tower card here. So I feel like this person's going to do like a complete 180 and it's going to blow you away. Like it's you're, it's going to be totally unexpected. Um, I see this person is pretty um, emotional. They're pretty in tune with their feelings, okay? I think they probably enjoy talking about their feelings, but they might have a hard time actually expressing themselves. Like, they might seem pretty closed off. They might have a hard time opening up to people. Um, but they're, I feel like this person is very full of love, and they want to give that to someone, but it's just hard for them, because I feel like they have trust issues, possibly. Um... Let's see. We also have over here, we have gratitude and thought. So I feel like this is someone who... I want to say that they're a spiritual person, but I feel like they don't know that they're a spiritual person. Like, I feel like they... They're interested in that kind of thing. They're interested in spirituality and religion. I feel like they really enjoy um, researching different things. Like... They like to learn. They like to learn on their own time. Like, I don't feel like this is somebody who is in school or anything, but I feel like they like to do research on stuff, like, in their spare time and just learn about things. They're like an information sponge, I feel like. Um, and we also have here gratitude. So, like I was saying, I feel like this is somebody who has the potential to be very spiritually, like, developed um, but they don't realize that about themselves. Um, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So like I was saying, I feel like a lot of you already know this person. You've already dealt, been dealing with them. And whatever that you've been going through with this person is about to end. That cycle is about to end. And some changes are going to be coming. Okay. Um, you just have to not give up on this person. It might seem like this situation is impossible, this person is impossible, but it's not, okay? They're going to come around, um, and if, if you decide that you want to give this person a chance, this, I feel like, has real potential, like, we got true love here, okay? Um, let's see. I'm not getting a lot about what they look like, though, or... Um, I feel like this is somebody who kind of doesn't... I feel like this is someone who really doesn't care what other people think about them. They just do their own thing, and they, they don't give a fuck, okay? Um, they might be somebody who swears a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I guess I'm going to have to pull some more cards out because I still don't, I feel like I'm getting a lot of information about the connection that you have with this person and not a lot about who this person actually is. So I feel like I want to pull some more cards out. Let's see. Tell us more about who this person is who's coming in for group four. What's their personality like? We've got five of wands. Like I said, they're probably a little bit... They don't care what other people think about them. That's way too many cards, guys. They don't care what other people think about them. They're, they're, um, they will stand up for themselves. They will stand up for people they care about. They will stand up for issues that they're passionate about. Um, what else can you tell us? What's this person look like? Oh, we got Ten of Cups. Oh, okay, this is someone I feel like is very family-oriented. Um, I feel like they probably 
would really like to have children one day. Okay, we've got Four of Swords. Again, this is, um, like I was saying about them being a spiritual person, okay? I feel like they are intuitive, but I feel like they don't know that. They haven't developed their intuition in any way. Like, they're blocked somehow. Um, we've got Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles. Like I said, this is someone who's very family-oriented. I feel like this situation is definitely being divinely guided. Um, this is someone who... This is someone who is strong and big, like tall, taller than average. Regardless of whether they are male or female, they are taller than average. Um, solid, like their appearance... Their physicality has a lot of, is giving me a lot of earth vibes. So I feel like this is someone who's probably very physically strong, big, um, like kind of stocky maybe, um, just built very solid, okay? Could have a beard if they're man. Let's see what else can I get? Page of Cups, Nine of Cups. This is someone who likes to go out and have a good time every now and then. Um, I feel like this is somebody who likes to go to the bar. I feel like this is someone who has a bar that they regularly go to. Um, not like all the time, but you know, maybe once a week or something to hang out with some friends. They, um, they're a regular somewhere. And Page of Cups, this is somebody who who loves the idea of romance, but I feel like they're not super romantic themselves. Or maybe they try to be, and they're just not very good at it. Okay. Whoa! Oh my god, we've got so much. We've got Ace of Swords. This is someone who is pretty honest. They're very, um... I think I already mentioned that they, uh, they probably don't... They probably don't have an easy time expressing themselves, but I feel like if you ask them how they feel about something or what they think about something, they will tell you, honestly. Um, death fell out. I feel like this is somebody who is undergoing a transformation of some kind. They could be awakening spiritually because we have uh, the High Priestess. The Hanged Man came out upside down, so I feel like whatever stagnant energy they've been in, they're coming out of it. And we also have the Devil card. I feel like this is somebody who... Hmm. Yeah. This is somebody who has a little bit of a chaotic kind of energy because the tower just fell out as well. So they could be kind of a trickster. They might like to just... They might enjoy pranking their friends. Um, or they just like to tell... They like to tell jokes. They like to make people laugh. They could also be a very sexual person, like, not shy at all about talking about that kind of stuff. Um, you guys are getting, like, the full, the full package here and with this reading. Like, I just keep wanting to pull out more cards. More, <laughs> this energy is just very strong. Seven of Swords. They could have been hiding something from you in the past, and that could have been, like, partly what what was going wrong in your connection with them, if you already know them, which I feel like most of you already do know them. I feel like most of you know exactly who I'm talking about right now. I feel like this is... I feel like this person likes metal, like heavy metal music. I feel like this person probably has a lot of uh, body modifications, like tattoos and or piercings. Okay, so my camera keeps cutting off, and I don't know why, so I'm going to have to um, figure what's going on with that, because I still have one more group to go. 
Um, but I am going to end it here. Oh, before I realized the camera stopped recording, I pulled out the Seven of Swords. So I feel like this person could have been hiding something from you in the past. Um, and that could have been, in part, what was um, causing problems in your connection with them. Okay? So, anyway, I'm going to stop here. This energy is just so strong. I feel like uh, most of you guys who picked this pile know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta end it here because I just, there's just so many, there's just so much strong energy. This is absolutely a divinely guided situation. Um, I mean, okay. I get it. <laughs> All right, Pile 4, that's your reading. Um, you guys kind of got the extended version a little bit. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if it resonated with you, please let me know. I love to read your comments. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to the final group. Hi guys, if you chose the final option, the olive green crayon, this is your reading. Who is coming towards you? Who's going to be your next partner? So, um, I think that a lot of you guys already know this person. You've already had interactions with them. Um, this could possibly be an ex, although I'm not really... If it is an ex, I feel like the relationship ended on pretty good terms. Like, it was probably, like, a mutual thing. Um, but, yeah, I think most of you already know this person. Um, I'm getting that this is someone who is very spiritual. We have the High Priestess here, and we have Judgment. So, I feel like this is someone who's, like I said, really spiritual, really into... Um, this could be somebody who really enjoys watching, like, those ghost hunting shows <laughs> that are, like, so stupid, but they're so entertaining. Um, also, I'm getting the feeling that they could be interested in, like, Reiki, um, yoga, stuff like that, you know, energy healing. Regardless, um, this is someone who... I think this is somebody who is um, very interested in spiritual healing, energetic healing, stuff like that. And I think that when they come towards you, they're going to come towards you with the intention of healing and renewing the connection that you have. In the past, we have the Two of Swords. So their past experiences, as far as relationships are concerned... They have, I feel like they've had some trouble making decisions um, about uh, what they should do, how they should move forward with, with people, um, when they should end relationships that are going bad, stuff like that. I feel like this is someone who's kind of indecisive. Um, and maybe that's where the two of you went wrong in the past. Maybe they couldn't decide what they wanted, you know, um, something like that is what I'm feeling. We also have show the world the real you. So this makes me think that this is someone who is very much like an open book. You know, they wear their heart on their sleeve. We've got compassion here. They're very compassionate. They're very sensitive towards other people. Um, very forgiving, I think. And just very loving. Okay, we have bring love into the situation. Oh, I just realized we have two Aquarius cards. So there's a good possibility that this person is an Aquarius or an air sign, um, Gemini or Libra. The cards are saying that um, this could be the one. Okay, so this could be somebody that you will end up spending a large portion of your life with. Um... In the past, I feel like if this is someone that you already know and you tried to work things out with them in the past, it didn't work out because it just wasn't the right time. You know, it could have been a case of right person, wrong time. Um, 
But if you if you are still interested in being with this person, the universe is saying, um, you know, don't give up on them yet because you're going to get an opportunity to work something out with them in the near future. Okay, um, I think I think like two or three of the other piles also got this card, so. Um, stuff is going to be happening pretty quickly for a lot of you guys. And this card for me usually means that um, the time frame is about one month. So I feel like within the next month, um, things are going to start happening with this person. We also have give your relationship a chance. So like I said, some of you maybe have been considering whether or not you should um, hold out hope for this person. Um, the cards are saying that go ahead, you know, give them a chance. Um, and we also have new moon and new moon eclipse. A new start is coming and expect powerful change. So if you've been looking for something new to happen with this person, this is a very good indication that you're going to enter into a new stage together of your relationship and things are really going to turn around. Things are really going to improve. I feel like when they come back to you, they're going to be um, totally, totally ready to um, offer you something, offer you something solid, okay? Um, now, I'm not getting a lot about, like, what this person looks like or what they're into, which is similar to the last pile. Um, group four had some really intense connection with the person coming towards them. And so, like, most of the information I was getting was relating to the connection they already have <laughs> and how it's going to evolve. And this is kind of similar. Like, this is more about the energy between you already and less about who this person is. So I think I'm going to pull out some more cards just to get an idea of their appearance and what they're interested in, um, that kind of stuff. Which card, which deck do I want to use? Let's do, let's do this one. What is this? Oh, okay. King of Pentacles just flew out. Page of Wands. Queen of Cups, like I said, somebody who's pretty spiritual, probably kind of intuitive, maybe a little bit psychic. We got um, paid, or Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, there could be marriage in the cards for you and this person. They maybe have decided that they would like to marry you someday. Knight of Cups, Five of Swords, the High Priestess again. Knight of Swords. Like I said, I really feel like this is probably an air sign. We've got Knight of Wands. This person absolutely is ready to come towards you. We have the Hierophant. Because we have all these knights and this page. Two of Wands. Eight of Cups. Page of Cups. Another page. I feel like you're going to be getting a message from this person quite soon um, because they have made their decision. Um, I'm seeing like lighter hair, like blonde or red hair. And I'm seeing lighter colored eyes, like blue or green. This is somebody I feel like who is probably pretty financially stable. I feel like this could be, I've already said that I feel like this is a very spiritual person. I feel like this could also be someone who is like straight up religious, okay? Um, kind of orthodox. So like they might follow a particular religion and if they do, then it's, I feel like it's a pretty big part of their life. They could be like a pastor uh, or something like that for some of you.
We got the Devil, we got the Ace of Swords, we got the Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like in the past they were really indecisive about what they wanted, but now they've decided and now they're ready to start something new and bring you their truth. And what's this Devil card about? Ten of Swords. This could be somebody who has struggled in the past with, like, addictions or substance abuse issues um, or codependent toxic relationships or something like that that they have worked very hard to overcome. And now it's, you know, it's, it's behind them. We got the sun card. I feel like this person is just like a ray of sunshine wherever they go. We have King of Cups. Pretty mature, very mature energy, I feel like. Um, they're just very bright and positive. I feel like they're always positive, all the time. Seven of Pentacles. Pretty established in their career, probably. They probably, I feel like they might work with their hands a lot. Like, in, they maybe they do construction, or they build furniture, or they do gardening, or something like that. We have the Empress. This person is ready to um, wife somebody up, or husband somebody up. We have Nine of Swords. Yeah, in the past, they've had a lot of issues in the past that um, they, they struggled with immensely. And like I said, it could have been an addiction, it could have been a really bad relationships, it could have, it could have even been like mental illness, or uh, just family issues, something like that. I'm going to get one more card out of this deck, I feel like it wants to say something else. So, what else do you want to tell us about this person? That's too many cards. Balance spirituality and practicality. Nothing is set in stone. You are good enough. A time for healing. This person has done some healing, quite a bit of healing. This person has realized their value. They've realized your value. Um... They are, again, extremely spiritual, very religious, possibly. Um, and nothing is set in stone. Some of you guys live near the ocean. Um, or they do. Somebody likes to go to the beach a lot, even like in the winter time, even when it's cold outside. Which is cool, because I go to the beach in the wintertime because nobody's there, and I like that. Um, <laughs> this relationship, I feel like, even though there are a lot of elements of spirituality, I don't feel like this is a soul connection. Which is fine, because we can have really great relationships with people who are not soulmates, and we can have really bad relationships with people who are. Um, so this is like, this connection with this person, like, nothing is set in stone about it. Like, there's no guarantee that the universe will bring you together and have you be together for years and years. Um, but there is no guarantee that that won't happen either. It's kind of up in the air, you know? We have free will. You have free will. They have free will. Um, nothing is guaranteed. There's nothing... Nothing about this connection has been written in the stars, you know? There, nothing about it is being determined by fate. So, it's really a matter of what you want to do. It's really your choice, what, um, how you progress with this person, okay? So, this is who's coming towards you next, um, but they don't necessarily have to be your next partner, okay? So, 
So, yeah, group uh, five, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if it resonated with you, please let me know. I love to hear from you guys. Um, this is a mess. I pull, I pull out so many cards sometimes. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, leave me a comment. Did I already say that? I don't know. Anyway, I hope I see you guys next time. And if you are from a previous group and you're still here, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Um, I really love you guys. I love all your comments. I love all the support. All of my information about buying personal readings is in the description box. Also, I have a donation link down there if you want to donate a couple dollars to my channel so that I can keep buying new decks and better recording equipment. I'm going to try to have this video uploaded before the end of the day today. Um, it's Christmas Eve, so this will be my little gift to you all, <laughs> okay? Um, and yeah, I think that's all I want to say, okay? Thanks again for watching. I hope I see you guys next time. Bye!